Hey, welcome authors. Welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know, my name is Nandipa. Um, I do welcome you if this is your first time. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Please make sure you do stay and hit the subscribe button if you like uh, this kind of content. Oh. <laughs> Today, I am not alone. I am with my mini me, my twin. Daughter. My daughter. Introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my name's Susie. Okay. How old are you? 14 years old. But today's topic, well, I'm actually going to start doing a mother-daughter series. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, this is what I want to start doing. Look at her. She's thinking, am I going to be on here often? She's short, guys. Can you see how short she is? She keeps thinking that she's taller than me, but it's just not happening. Let me try and get her a pillow. Anyway, so I want to do a mother-daughter series on, on different things that girls experience. You know, she's 14 now, and um, yeah, a lot of changes are going on in the body, and you know, there's a lot of hormones going on and everything else going on. So. What I want to start doing is a mother-daughter um, series kind of thing. So today we'll start off with what's in her bag, as in her... Oh, sorry, the... Um the battery died so I just had to change a battery pack now when did you start your period the day before my birthday exactly literally a day before her birthday you 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 sent me a message right yeah yeah she, yeah, she was in the bathroom and um, yeah she's one of those who goes with the phone everywhere what to do kids in our days so she was in the bathroom and then she sent me a message in the bathroom what what did you message her I think I'm on my period. Yeah, she's like, I think I'm on my period. Um, I was like, oh, okay. So, and I, of course, I had to come to the rescue. The thing is, um, we've already discussed beforehand what happens, you know, because she is growing up and she is a girl. These are the things that um, we need to discuss with girls before they actually get into that stage. So they're not um, kind of like scared or ashamed when it happens, yeah. So this is something that we've been discussing as we go along. And obviously, I'm a woman. She sees that I have pads, I have everything else. So before she started, I had already been showing her, but with the panty line, I already been showing her, do you know how to apply this? She was like, yeah, 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 I know how to do it. And this is the thing. Okay, so they always say, yes, 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 I know how to do it. And then like, okay, go ahead and do it. And she's like, um... <laughs> Exactly. She wasn't quite sure. So I had to let her do it. It's like, okay, this is how you do it. So it's very important that you show them how to do it. You have to um, show them how, um, what happens basically when they go through their first period, all the signs and um, what to expect this is basically very important what to expect especially because she's at school so these things can happen at school now when it's your first time menstruating you're obviously not a regular and because it started a day before a birthday in a normal world it would have been very easy to track because then we would know okay so at this time she's gonna start a period again have you been regular no i haven't she hasn't like also the flow has been different like it's not the same as the first one yeah yeah so it hasn't been the same as the first one you know and this is the things that you need, that you need to discuss with them that um you for your first time yes you might start oh, okay you're on your period and it lasted for how long the first time how many days was it for so this was not even three days I think it was two days. Yeah, it was like two days. It literally was just like two days. Um, so it only lasted for like two days and then it went away. And then the next time, obviously, it wasn't on the same date. It was on a different day. And then it was just very spotty. Um, so it wasn't like a full on period. It was just very spotty. So all she needed was like just petty liners, right? You didn't need the whole pad. Yep. Yeah. And how comfortable was the pads? 
when you first started? Not that comfortable. <laughs> They're not because she was used to it, you know. So I actually bought a couple of, of different styles, right? Yeah. I bought a couple of different styles so um to make a try to see what was going to be comfortable for her. So I bought the Cotex, right? Yep. The Cotex. You didn't like those. The ones that we gave away. No. Why? I don't know. They were too big. Yeah, they were too big. They, they were thick. You know, it was a cortex. It was like the cotton cortex. Yes, it's cotton. They're good, but um, they were a little bit thick and she didn't like, she didn't feel comfortable in them. So we gave those away. And um, so I kept her trying different stuff in different styles to see what she was going to be comfortable with because it's very important because she's at school. I mean, it's the first time and she wants to be comfortable. She does not want to feel like, oh my gosh, I'm on a period. I don't want her to feel restrained, you know, so uh, we tried different ones and um, yeah, she's got ones that she likes. So, yeah, so I gave her the, the pad, um, she was in the bathroom. I it down with her, you know, when you're on your period, hygiene. Yes, hygiene is of extreme importance, like extreme importance. I even bought her a second pair of washcloth, right? Yes. Yes, I bought her a second pair of washcloth and um, I went through with her, you know, when you're on your period, you have Change to your pad two, after two or three hours. Yeah, after like three, yeah, three, or, yeah. Yeah, three or four hours, you know. Um, yeah, about three or four hours, but don't let it stay for more than four hours. Right? Yeah, yes. Very important. Whether there is something on it or there isn't, change it after four hours because it's it's not healthy to stay um, with your pad on for four hours for anyone whether you're an, a child or an adult you, it, it's not healthy for you i bought her a second pair of a washcloth so she doesn't use the same cloth that she uses on her body and also um the underwear that she wears okay so it's different you have to have an underwear that's set aside for when you're on your period this goes for adults as well i mean i do it i have a separate underwear that i use when i'm on my period and that is something that is extremely important so you're not using the same underwear you know cotton breathable underwears are always best when you're in your period i find that i know there might be outdated or whatever you know the boyish ones she likes the boyish ones so those are nice because then they keep it it's called the, the boy cuts you know those like shorts ones the ones that you have you don't have to call them that what do you call them hot panties okay i'm so sorry <laughs> the hot panties okay yeah so those are nice ones <laughs> that she Child. Okay, so those are the ones that um, you know we've set aside for when she's on a period because those are the ones that she's going to feel a little bit more comfortable. So those are all the things that are very important when you're on your period. And also realizing that um, sometimes you might not get your period, like I said, because she's starting, she might get a period this month and then she might miss it next month and then it might come at different time, a spotty, like I said. That is all normal when you're starting out your period. Um, just as long as you're, you're not on a heavy flow, like for a long period of time, then there is something absolutely wrong. But also um, something else that um, you might start experiencing is cramps. You also got cramps now, yeah? Yep. Yeah. How do they feel? Six out of ten. Six out of ten, yeah. So you, you these are the things that um, girls will experience. These are things that you, you speak to them about. You know, you're going to get cramps and... Um, your hormones are changing so everything is changing so it's very important for girls to know these things so that when they happen they don't feel ashamed and be like oh my god what's going on is there something wrong with me no it's the changes that your body goes through every woman goes through changes so these are the very th important things to talk about when you have a girl so i think in the next one we'll talk about more of hormones what happens with your hormones with the girls as as you get older because hormones is not only about boobs growing bigger and your body shape changing it's, it's just not only about that girls experience hormones and it's something that's very important that they are aware of so, okay so let's have a look and see what's in her bag bag 
Yes, okay, so she's growing up now and she started, just recently started her period. So we need to find out what I have inside her school bag, rather her period bag. Yes, okay, so this stays in, with her all the time, basically. So what I like to do is I keep it with her at all times, whether or not she's menstruating, it doesn't matter. It always stays with her. Okay, Here's so the thing, I, let's have a look and see what's in her bag. Oh, do you wanna open it? Yes, she's gonna open it, so. What is those? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so we've got a couple of panty liners in the bag. We've got like four or something, right? Panty liners. So we've got those. Um, like, like I said, this is stuff that's always in a bag. So we're using the always panty liners. They're very nice and very thin and very small. So I like those. And what else is next? Man. Wipes to freshen up and to clean yourself. Yes. Yeah, so every time you um, you go change your your towel, your sanitary towel, you need um, to freshen up, obviously. And the ones that she has, I literally just found them. It clicks, guys. I've got. They are soap and alcohol free, so they are very good, and they're also pH balanced. And it's also very important um, to to know that not to use anything that's going to change the ph balance down there so um they are ph balance and these are the, this is what they come in so they individually wrapped which is also nice so they won't be drying out or anything so i give it okay. like set of wipes that you i mean there's different wipes that you can always check again your wipes have to be alcohol free very important um because you don't want anything that's going to be perfumed underneath there because that area cleans itself up. So we found another wipe that we use. It's like the Lilette's ones. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So these are ones are gynecologist, um, gynecologically approved and they are enriched with um, chamomile and the other ones had aloe vera. Again, keep buying a couple of things just to see what... Um, your child likes or what she's not sensitive to because she's starting she's going to be sensitive to a couple of things so make sure you monitor it and make sure you ask the questions how does it make you feel does it make you feel itch or do you feel a certain way and then you are able to to choose the best methods for her i mean we're not using any sort of like um tampons at the moment or anything like that because i know her she would she, she, she would not want to do that mm -hmm. So we've got different styles, yeah. Pants? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, obviously those are the very big ones. So we've got um, different sizes, as you can see, and different styles of pads um, that she uses. It's Again, this is always, um, the other two are always, which are very thin, which is nice. And then this other one is a different one. Yeah. Always? Yes. This is a different one. This is actually um, a natural brand I found. Was it Discam or was it Clicks? Discam. Discam, yes. It's called um, Glory Sanitary Napkin. I don't know if you can see this anyway. Yeah. Okay, so those are the ones. Uh, they're called Glory. It's, it's a bamboo and charcoal. I, I found it something that's a lot more natural because she's starting off. I want, um, I want to make sure that we start with something that's very natural so i tend um to make sure she's got more of those in her bag than she does her always and also because they come this is actually the wrapping sack like cotton material which is quite nice i absolutely love these and this is what they look like on the inside 
so the middle bit is like charcoal they literally have the middle bit on the inside this is like where the charcoal is we all know that charcoal has to draw any impurities so this is more like a cotton that's more of um, it's natural because it's, it's your bamboo and charcoal so those are a much healthier options so this is something that um, we're leaning towards something that makes sure that she's a lot healthier she becomes a lot healthier as she goes through her puberty her period you know something that's not going to be toxic for her as she is growing so what is the next thing that we have yes trash bin for your pads or panty liners if there's no bin near you where you are or whatever yes yep Okay, so um, as she said, those are like when you don't have, when you are in an area where there is no bins or maybe you're in town or even if, I don't know how, how or why, your school does not have any bins or any set bins for um, your, your pads. It's very important that you become very hygienic and you become clean because I always tell her, you have to make sure that you wrap it. If you start teaching her from home that when she finishes with a pad, she wraps it up neatly and then she ties it and then she dispose of it you don't just take it out and just throw it as it is that is horrible i hope no one is doing that i hope no kid and no adult is doing that i have seen it it is absolutely gross it is not something that you want to start your kid on you literally show them the correct way of how to dispose of the sanitary towel so i always keep those um again in the bag as well we've got two or three in that bag very 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 important it's just your normal um bin bags the smallest ones or whatever you want to give her whether it's just your normal plastics then you just give her to keep so she can dispose of them and most of the time like when you on your period where do you normally keep them because obviously you're not gonna go take the whole bag because it must be embarrassing i put them in my blazer and my blazer has a zip so they cannot fall inside of my blazer that's it Again, I'm going to link her Instagram handle as well as her TikTok and handle. And TikTok down yeah. below. Yes. <laughs> Please make sure you go and follow her. Okay. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for joining us. It was an absolute pleasure. On our first episode, you will be seeing us more often together on our mother and daughter series. Dini tanda nengema kaya. Nibene nene. Thank you.